CBS 19 News at 10. Important nutritional research underway right now at UT Health Northeast to reduce the risk of breast cancer. We look at how doctors and local volunteers are making a difference in the fight against the disease. It's a special Fit City on breast cancer awareness tonight at 10. Now, on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Melissa Daigle. A convicted sex offender is out of jail this morning. 60-year-old Nicholas George Heinz was arrested earlier this month for failing to register as a sex offender. He was picked up at his home on County Road 384 by deputies, detectives, and members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force. Heinz has a criminal history in California, Utah, Oregon, Arizona, and now Texas. He was released from jail after posting $100,000 bond. For our news partner, the Tyler Paper sentencing begins today for Timothy Choice. He was found guilty yesterday of a felony charge of intentionally and knowingly causing serious bodily injury to a child. This was for scalding a two-year-old's feet with water last year. The Smith County jury hearing the case deliberated for about 90 minutes before returning the verdict. Looking ahead, here's a hot topic on the ballot this election season in Tyler, Proposition 1. If approved, money would be transferred to the State Highway Fund to be used for construction and maintenance of state highways. The money would be moved from the oil and gas gas production fund. Yeah, but some say the government already has enough money for transportation. If passed, $1.4 billion a year will be moved into the State Highway Fund. Campaign sign regulations are now being enforced in Smith County. The county's Road and Bridge Department will remove any campaign signs placed in the county right-of-way. That's the space between utility lines and the road's edge. Remove signs can be picked up at the County Road and Bridge Office until November 4th. And after that, those signs will be thrown away. Well, there's a few clouds and a shower or two out there this morning. Some unexpected showers. Mm. Let's head over to more for the weather with Albert on that. Melissa and Clint, here is your hour-by-hour hour forecast as we go through the day today. We'll see lots of cloud cover across the eastern uh, two-thirds of Texas today and perhaps some spotty showers here across the area. But as we put this into motion, notice this upper-level trough does work its way off towards the east. If we do get any showers this morning, and radar is showing some, a lot of that is uh, actually evaporating before it gets to the ground, so I'm not sure how much we're going to get, but a few sprinkles here and there, perhaps a shower. And then as we go through the day, we should start to see some decreasing clouds as we go into the afternoon hours. Let's go ahead and take a look now at your forecast for today, starting off around 60 degrees, a slight chance of showers this morning, partly cloudy by noon, 70 degrees will top out right around 76 with a light east wind, and you can see your next three days look warm as we go into the weekend. Notice that high temperature, 87 degrees for Saturday, 87 again on Sunday, a very warm weekend headed your way. As Albert mentioned to us, got to have your umbrella and your sunglasses yeah. today. We've got crazy weather. Yeah, a little different there. combination for sure. Yes. For the very latest all day long, go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. And tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10. Hope you have a great Thursday.